Ten days ago, I got a present through the post. This. You can see it's a piece of plastic, and on it are written the letters IYC 2011. That's for International Year of Chemistry 2011. What makes it special was I was sent this by one of our viewers, Andres Tretikov, who works in London. And he's a technician in the school chemistry lab. And he made this as an experiment for making a much bigger sign for his school. The IYC is the International Year of Chemistry that is celebrating the centenary of Madame Curie's Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1911 for the discovery of radium and polonium. So Andres and his colleagues at St. Paul's School in London were celebrating the International Year of Chemistry and he's made a whacking big sign to go up in the, somewhere in the school. And what's special about his sign, if you look at it, is that some of the letters and numbers are purple and some are a sort of yellowish grey colour. So he's made this out of nanoparticles, very small particles of metal which have been mixed with a plastic, dissolved up in some solvent and then put in these spaces between these black lines that he's drawn with some sort of plastic pen. And the solvent has evaporated and you're left with plastic with these small particles of metal embedded, rather like cherries in a cake. And what is special about this is that the metal particles, these purple ones, are made of gold and the yellowish ones are silver. Now you all know what gold looks like, like wedding rings and so on, so nice gold colour, so why should it be purple? And the reason it's purple is that if you take a small lump of metal atoms, as you make it smaller and smaller, the colour produced by the metal atoms, or the, the colour of light that it absorbs, changes. So a large lump of gold looks like gold, and as you make it smaller, you can change the colour, red or even purple, because the energy of the electrons within this cluster of atoms changes. So he's chosen the sides, I'm not sure what size, which um, gives this nice purple colour. It's probably quite small, maybe a nanometer, 10 to the minus 9 metres, might be slightly more, but it's really quite small, a few tens of thousands of atoms or less. And the silver is probably a similar sort of size. I know because my research group has made nanoparticles of silver can't afford gold. We've made nanoparticles of silver and sort of 7 to 10 nanometers diameter give this sort of colour. I like this because first of all it's celebrating the year of chemistry and secondly because it's really a nice chemical demonstration in its own right. What are you going to do with it? I haven't decided entirely but I think that I'm going to hang it up like this so that when people come into my office, they can see that it's International Year of Chemistry.